bears will never be safe again. So if you're still waiting on your ring, uh, we're really sorry and we will be getting it out to you as soon as possible. We're trying to do everything we can to make it as painless as possible and, and we are very, very sorry for the delays. Uh, just to give you an update on all of the different delays, uh, the Alpha uh, rings uh, arrived a day early, however 55% of them failed QA um, and there was a shortage of rings that were delivered. So we expected 1900, 1900, we actually only got 1016, so we only ended up with like 1600 rings that we could send out, which would be crazy. Um, but we did package them up over the weekend and we began shipping them on Wednesday. Uh, so the next shipment of uh, alphas that will be arriving with us will be on the 10th of July. It will take about two weeks and this is to replace the ones that, are, that, we, that failed QA basically. Um, collections, if you're waiting for a collection, um, we're going to be able to fill about 30% of all the collections. This is due again to the shortage of alphas. Um, and again, we'll be fulfilling the rest of those collections on the 10th of July. Um, and again, our apologies and we do really appreciate your patience on this. Um, Next thing is the custom rings. Now, finally, we'll be able to get these custom rings out. They actually left uh, China on uh, today, the day you'll watch this video. I'm actually recording it on Thursday. Um, so they'll be shipping out on Wednesday. Again, apologies if you've been waiting for a custom ring, and thanks very much for being patient. The out-of-stock ring sizes. So these are the sizes like 9.5 and stuff that we've run out of stock um, due to the number of QA fails. These are due uh, to land with us on Wednesday, I think. Think. Um, we don't know exactly what's being sent yet. We'll know that information when I do the long video. So if you want to know specifics on uh, out of stock ring sizes, then watch the long video. Um, they'll be arriving with us, say, Wednesday, and it'll take two or three days uh, to get them picked and packed and sent out. Um, we've decided on an Arduino module that we really like. It's the Elec House PN532. Check that out. Again, that's the Elec House PN532. It's a great little Arduino and Raspberry Pi module. Uh, we've decided on the digital door locks that we, we now um, recommend, and that's the SHA. SHS1321 and the SHS3320 and they're both Samsung locks. We've had some, app, uh, we've done some updates to our apps, NFC ring unlock and control. Uh, registration processes is now much simpler and clearer. Uh, we've added the functionality to show a warning if you try and write too much data to your ring. Uh, if you do get an error, the uh, uh, trying to write to the ring, then I'll tell you what the error is. And we've included a load more translations uh, and, and strings and whatnot. Um, if you do get an error whilst trying to register, if you get the not an NFC ring error, then please email support at nfcring.com and we'll sort that out for you. We've made some progress with the Stealth Bomber, but it's nothing really worth noting at this time. Uh, we'll probably do a bigger update on that in about two weeks. And we've done some minor forum updates, so the whole process of logging in and getting signed up, it's, it's much simpler now and, and, and using it is great. And thanks very much to everybody that's contributing on the forum. It's a real, real uh, hive of activity. So thanks again, everybody. And then I'd like to welcome Alex and Stuart to the NFC Ring team. And they will be helping out with uh, customer rela community relations, um, processing returns, replacements, and just generally replying to emails and all of these good parts. So hope to see you all soon guys thanks very much for being patient and thanks for watching bye